God's giving. Our responses with giving. This evening we acknowledge that we are gathered and worshipped on the traditional lands of the Wadarong people of the Kulin Nation. And we pay our sincere respect to their elders, past, present, and emerging. Monday, Thursday, or Holy Thursday? And this evening we remember Jesus' last supper with his earliest followers on the night he was betrayed before his trials and crucifixion and death. They had a meal, a special gathering. But before the meal, Jesus washed his disciples' feet. The washing of feet and the sharing of meals. Friends, the Gospel of John detailed the story of Jesus washing his disciples' feet, but only mentioned that they are having a meal. The other three Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, they didn't mention any washing of feet, but they mentioned the institution of the Eucharist, of the Holy Communion. This evening, we are combining the two. The washing of feet and the sharing of meal. And I invite us to focus on the night and all the mysteries and the blessings that tonight may bring to you individually. Washing of feet, maybe a preparation for the next few days. What happened with Jesus' disciples? Use their feet. What happened with the others? They continue and follow Jesus in that very difficult bath. Washing of feed and follow. And even Jesus' death. And we believe that he went really, really, really deep and came back again. Not only that, but a meal. Feeding us, nourishing us, to be able to be energized and strengthened and encouraged and inspired to be able to follow. I invite you. Washing of feet or washing of hands and sharing of a meal. Giving. I always think about uh, washing of feet. Maybe in Jesus' time it was easy to let your feet be washed by someone because it has been um, bare feet in somewhere else. I always feel when we come offering your feet to be washed by someone is a really opening up of who we are. I put on a new shock this evening. Opening up and giving your feet, your hands, to be washed by someone. As we continue and sing a new commandment.
not just any table, but God's table, carrying the whole burden of heaven, preparing itself for breaking and the sacrifice of love. Place a bowl, a jug of water, and a towel. N not just any t towel, but a symbol of any water. So. Baptism and life. We come to be cleansed and may have new life. Not just any bread. The, bread that becomes body. the body of the cross carrier that will break. Under the way of a great. Not just any wine, but wine that holds blood, heaven's blood, sacrificed for a world to fullest comprehend. Not just any community of those who know this moment. Responsory Psalm. I love the Lord for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Truly I am your servant, Lord. I serve you just as my mother did. You have freed me from my chains. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Let us pray. You are the way, O Christ, your body lying as the pathway stretched out with open arms 
and wounded hands, and you are the pathway through to life. You are the way, O Christ, the truth that calls to our reality and sets our hearts leaping at the power of your knowing, and you are the pathway through to truth. You are the way, O Christ, the love that sets no boundaries and brings us on through costly gift into clouds of grace. You are the pathway through to love. Take us by the hand of Jesus Christ that we may walk this way bravely, freely, in humble human faith. Amen. Friends, in our prayer of confession, let us silently confess, and in the silence, may we listen. And in listening, may we hear the silence of heaven this holy night of nights. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, hear then the words of affirmation. We have not used the safety of words for our confession. Simply the silence that lays bare all. God must hear it all. Only then can we recognize the depth of grace we are given. Thanks be to God. Bind us together, Lord. first reading is from John chapter 13 verses 1 to 17 and then from 31 to 35. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to his father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet 
drying them with a towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not realise now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then Lord replied, Simon Peter replied, Not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, Those who have had a bath need only to wash their feet. Their whole body is clean. And you are clean, though not every one of you. For he knew who was going to betray him. And that was why he said, not everyone was clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. And then on to verse 31. Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you cannot come. A new commandment I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. One another, as I have washed your feet, you washed each other. Friends, this is an opportunity. Experience this deep, mysterious of washing someone's feet or someone's hands or offering yours to be washed. You may find there are a few bowls here. You can tell which one you can wash your feet with and which one you can wash your hands with. And there are a few towels here and also beba towels. Rocha will play some music in your own time. Experience what Jesus did. Thank you.
washed and we move on to share in this sacred meal. Reading from Luke 22, 14 to 23. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table. And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. But the hand of him who is going to betray me is with mine on the table. The Son of Man will go as it has been decreed, but woe to that man who betrays him. They began to question among themselves which of them it might be who would do this. We are offering this prayer A responsory prayer with three voices. Can I invite those who are sitting in the side there to be number one? Hope you'll be able to read from the screen. And those people there will be number two. And this part here will be number three. Number one, number two, and number three. And we'll start with number one.
Let us pray another responsory prayer. Amid all these people, O oh God, we find you breaking through with life once more, ever the life. And on this night also, amid that company of disciples, we find you daring bread and lifting the cup, promising the life. And in the faithlessness of followers and the confusion of disciples, are your words of remembering, put back the broken pieces. And so the bread is broken and the story starts of your brokenness and suffering and cross leading to life. The cup of wine too, the blood and the covenant of the love of heaven opening up to life. So these symbols at the end of this meal are the start of a new way that speak about life. Inviting us to follow and walk your path into olive groves and rubby stumps seeking out life. Trusting you always through the darkness and the danger, the betrayal and denial, trusting in life. Holy, holy, holy God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is the one who bears your name, Hosanna, in the highest. And so we tell your holy human story of giving and breaking, of spilling and loving, believing in life. And in this bread and in this wine, the story continues. Bread set apart for this story only as you eat with your disciples and trust the impossible trusting love. So be it. Our next reading is from the first book of Corinthians, uh, chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. This is the night Jesus was his friend's feet, a master yet a servant. This is the night Jesus is betrayed when the darkness gathers and the world conspires. This is the night Jesus gathers his friends and speaks of heaven. This is the night Jesus breaks bread and speaks through it, my body broken for you. This is the night Jesus is given over when the light goes out and the world laughs. This is the night Jesus shares with his friends a broken way and a kiss of betrayal. This is the night Jesus takes the cup and invites it with the new covenant sealed in blood.
This is the night Jesus break this bread, his body and shares this wine, his life with us. This is our statement, an act that speaks into the world beyond words.
In Jesus Christ, O oh God, you came to us. Crown and cross and cradle. Reaching out to all God's people with mercy and compassion, you lived with us, died for us in humility. Scepter, scourge and stable. In asking us to do the same, and in gratitude for all the mercy and compassion we have known, we now offer our prayers for those who find themselves in humble circumstances. For those like Jesus, who had nowhere to lay their head. We pray for those in need of housing in our communities. For those like the infant Jesus who had to flee their homeland, we pray for refugees wherever they take shelter. We pray for those who find themselves without enough resources to cope when necessary things are so costly. We pray for those who live in isolation or in isolated communities who lack the access, care and technology that most of us take for granted. Embrace them, O oh God, in your mercy and humble us, lest we put too much trust in our lifestyle as the source of life's goodness. Hear us as we pray for those who have been humbled by unexpected circumstances those who face illness or injury. Those who know death or disaster, fear or failure. For victims of crime and those who suffer the misjudgment or the mistakes of others. and for those who suffer because of the consequences of their own actions and choices. Embrace them, O oh God, in your mercy and humble us, lest we imagine that we can live our lives untouched by trouble. And hear us, we pray. For those who have not yet learned the lessons of humility. For those who live carelessly, who drive recklessly, endangering themselves and others. For those who abuse the trust and power that their positions provide for them, betraying those whose interests are in their hands. We pray for those who mislead others to protect their own interests or indulge their fame with no thought of consequence. Humble them, O oh God, in your mercy and humble us if we are tempted to ignore the responsibility you give us all to care for our neighbours' needs. Create in us the compassion and courage so that with tears and triumphs you will lead us on to your victory. And tonight, as we stand at the edge of your cross and in humility, we pray the words Jesus taught us to pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. there will be no blessing this evening as traditionally all the services from Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday are seen as one long worship service for we do not wish to conclude our worship with Christ's call thus the following words continue the story into this night and pull us back for the next part on Good Friday and I also invite you, we will depart in silence. If you feel led to light a candle from Christ's candle and place it on the sand bit that help you in your journey in the next few days, please do so as we will be departing in silence after these words. There is no peace tonight. The Son of God is restless. The darkness is coming ever closer. The colors are fading. The silence stretches as the Savior finds his way to the garden. Prayers are left half said. The Savior kneels and prays. The moment is arriving when. Then a twig breaks and a branch sways and Judas appears. Two sets of eyes, each longing for a better way, meet each other and pause across a great calf. And in silence, Judas reaches out the faint smell of sweat on his upper lip, hesitation on his breath, trembling in his hands, did now hold Jesus' shoulders, and the moment heaven implodes, and the deal is done. The end joined, the collapsing of the light, the daring of heaven, the breaking of love, with a kiss of betrayal, it is done. There is no going back. <laughs> 